Hey guys, in this video, we'll check out Plus ROM for the Mi 11X, that's this device right here, also known as the Poco F3 or the Redmi K40. So in this video, we'll see what all has changed in the ROM, the features of this ROM, my experience using it as I've been using it for a couple of days, and some benchmarks. So let's get started. So this is the home screen. Let's just go through the change log first. So I'll give a link of the change log in the description below as well. So basically what they did is added a system wide black theme. So if I just go into settings and let's say go to display. Now, if I turn on dark theme with other ROMs with other phones, it's a dark theme. It's dark gray, but here it's black. So that's pretty awesome. I'll keep it to white as white looks better on camera. So it has added an optional screenshot type. So if you screenshot something, you can select partial screenshots. So that's cool too. It has added a toggle for unlimited photos. So if I just go to settings and Blessify, I'll go through the entire list later on. And if I just go to miscellaneous, you see there's unlimited photo storage. If you just turn this on, you get unlimited Google photos. That's pretty awesome. They have added this toggle. So if I just go to expand the notifications, you see this toggle. This is auto brightness. I can turn this off, change my brightness as you can see, or I can just tap on it and it will automatically adjust. So auto brightness toggle right there. So it has support for in-app volume. So what you have to do is, so if you just go to sound and there's an option of per app volume control, if you just turn this on, and let's go to a specific application, let's say YouTube, and let's search for no copyright background music. Let's, this is the max volume. If I just tap on here, I can set the app volume as per my liking. This is one. And if I just, let's say, go to another app, uh, not studio, let's say YouTube music. And let's type search for another no copyright song, no copyright music. Uh, let's play this one. And so I can do this. I can change the volume for that particular app. That's pretty cool in my opinion. Anyways, the next change is added under 12 L style internet controls. So what they mean by that is if I long tap here, this is the under 12 L style internet controls. That's pretty cool in my opinion, because I do not have to go into settings and change that. I can change that right there on the home screen. Or let's say if I'm on the app drawer and if I tap here in the app drawer itself or in the particular applications. And then there are some in, under the hood improvements. Anyways, this is the ROM. Let's just dive into the ROM. So you have the pixel launcher, not this one. I can just long tap and select home settings or wallpaper or widgets. This supports material U, complete support of material U. Anyways, if I just go in settings and let's see the about phone and bliss. So this has bliss version 15.3. It's the latest version at the time of recording this video. So it's bliss version 15.3, bliss code name Arcadia, bliss device, it's Alayath. That's this device right here, official and build date. Also, if you just go to settings, it has bliss updater. So it supports OTA. Although OTA will be slow while updating, but it's there and it's convenient. So there's that. Anyways, uh, let's just see what all is there in the ROM. The, this is, I guess, one of the two ROMs that I remember. The first one being Resurrection Remix, which is dead now. I believe it's dead now. Uh, I, the large version was under 10 and no one has revived it. Bliss ROMs is still going. So that's pretty awesome. So if I just go to settings, by the way, in the quick, quick settings, you do, uh, get some toggles like gaming mode, refresh rate, I can set my refresh rate to 60 to 120. I set it to 60 to 120. That is, if I'm not using the device, it is set to 60. As soon as I touch the screen, it sets to 120. Also, if I just change my volume, it sets to 120. So there's that. Also, um, regarding refresh rate, this will have 60 hertz refresh rate by default. So when you install the ROM, you must go to the settings and then display, display, and then 
maximum and minimum they both will be set to 60 just change it to 120 the maximum 1 to 120 you can change the minimum to 122 anyways there's low power refresh rate so if you want your refresh rate to say 120 you can do that in battery saver mode too pretty awesome anyways uh, let's just go we are in settings so this this has plusify so all the custom settings are present here we'll go one by one so animations nothing that much charging animation so when you plug in your device you get that animation ripple effect i believe that's a ripple effect so you get that ripple effect you can turn that off i do not like that i have turned it off screen fan animation you have crt or scale crt is that sony animation i like this animation a lot i'll just turn it to default because why not anyways buttons you have toggle toggle torch when screen off so if i just turn off my screen and long press i get my torch pretty awesome uh, let's turn this off and go to settings again volume panel all on the left that's pretty handy but you see this volume panel if i just do this the volume panel is at the center of the display almost at the center of the display so that's about right there volume rock awake music control reorient everything is the same as other asp roms then you have gestures that is it has brightness control on the status bar so this is a very old feature in custom roms so if i just do this i can change the brightness of the phone that's pretty cool lock screen your lock screen customizations lock screen charging info if you want the charging info to be displayed on the lock screen you can use that and there are some fingerprint uh, fingerprint animations so ripple effect if i just tap on the fingerprint i get a ripple animation like in all asp roms i can turn that off and i have turned it off because that bugs me a little anyways uh, it has always on display but it's very basic speaking of always on display it has one more great feature like samsung has with the edge lighting i'll show that later on anyways going to notification you can see all the notification settings there are, there's not a lot but it's a handful anyways going to the power menu you can select all the options that you want so if i just select a lot of options and that's my power menu all the options are present here <laughs> let's just disable all these because who all needs all these three two is just fine so power off and advanced reboot a restart there's quick settings so vibrate on touch edit icon running services icon battery estimates so estimate right here you can change that if you don't want that estimate just turn this off then quiz uh, pull down brightness slider i'll want the brightness slider right here so you can do that anyways going back status bar traffic indicators battery style battery percent if you want the battery percentage on the status bar you can do use that clock day settings battery bar etc going back uh, let's just go to themes now this has money customization so that's pretty awesome i have used black themes because back looks good on amoled and i can use a custom color so that it doesn't use material you it uses that custom color which i selected going back headline body font there are a lot of fonts as you can see you can select a all of them but you will have issues with some of them for a lot of apps now i have set it to i believe google song sans i like this one but yeah anyways icon pack so this is the status bar icons you can select a lot of icon packs here let's select rounded ones uh, this always happens anyways and it is not changed because i have already selected my wi-fi icon style you can use that too that's pretty handy as you can see the wi-fi icon style changed i use that zigzag one uh, it looks a bit cool in my opinion uh, i can shape there are a lot of icon shapes you can select them anyways going back there are miscellaneous settings so game space if you want your gaming menu space but this is a very basic gaming space there are not a lot of options so there's that disable automatic brightness etc and etc um as for your spoofing so unlimited google photo storage unlock higher fps in games so if you check this option and then open pubg you get smooth at 90 fps but without this you won't get 90 fps you'll just get 60 fps and regarding gaming gaming is smooth on this and i did not face heating issues with this it got warm it did not get hot 
even with that 90 fps option now unlock higher streams spoof your device as pixel 6 pro to unlock higher quality streams on so this is just to spoof your drm values so there's that then your pulse pulse is very cool if you haven't seen my earlier videos you wouldn't know but pulse is like if you just play your music there will be a pulsing equalizer on your bottom navigation bar that's pretty cool then cpu info if i just turn this on there will be overlay i don't know why it's not there anyways um use burn in production so that's a very basic feature it would shift your always on display slightly so that burn in doesn't happen okay the thing that i was talking about so let's just put this right here i'll use my other phone and i'll just lock this phone and let's say if i just message myself uh i hope you can see it as you can see edge lighting right there looks pretty awesome in my opinion anyways let's keep my phone to the side so that's the one feature that i was excited a lot anyways regarding battery life battery life has been good i could get a day's worth of usage without with it with around six hours of screen on time with gaming and media usage and some whatsapp not calls but some whatsapp uh this is my secondary phone so there's that as for the benchmarks so let's just go to photos uh here's my photos i'll just jump right into library not whatsapp images screenshots so with geekbench i got a single core score of 834 and a multi-core of 2741 with anti 2 the score is a lot less 520 542 but scores don't mean a lot because this rom is fluid af and then cpu throttle you can see the graph itself uh, CPU throttle to 80% with an average of 213 GIPS to 13,000 GIPS minimum of 194,000 GIPS and a maximum of 249,000 GIPS but this ROM is very fluid so there's that all the other bugs are there yes uh, the sound on this is very good even though it does, uh, does not have any Dolby or anything like that the sound is still very good not like uh, MIUI Dolby but it's still very good also the display the colors here are very good i don't know what they did but this is on the default settings so if i just go to display it's on the default setting Levels it colors it's adaptive right now and the colors are very good here i don't know how they did that but the colors are very good maybe because of that display composer that they added in this particular version of plus roms okay they imported display calibration from helluva os so that might be the reason also regarding camera this has google camera bsg camera so all the images will not be trash where's the camera right here there's the camera now all the images would not be trash it would look pretty cool i would uh, show some images but it's a mess right here yes there's one more thing refresh rate per app so you can set a refresh rate for a single app so if i just type in refresh and show refresh rate refresh rate intervals per app refresh rate so it has per app refresh rate let all the apps load okay so let's do one thing first let's just enable our refresh rate monitor so just go to settings develop options if you don't know how to enable develop options just go to your about tap on the bell number seven times i have already enabled develop options i'll just turn on show refresh rate so as you can see uh, 120 is displayed okay 60 and then if i just touch it it's 120 right? anyways let's just go back and back again and just go to display where's display and then at the end you have per app refresh rate so let's set the refresh rate of youtube to 60 hertz so if i just open up youtube right now it will be set to 60 hertz I am touching the display but it is set to 60 hertz as you can see right there wait not this one i do not want to get a copyright claim right there you can see 60 i am doing this but it's set to 60 hertz that's pretty awesome also uh, let's say but if i open any other app let's say if i open youtube music it is set to 120 hertz that's pretty awesome per app refresh rate 
So if you want to save your battery for let's say YouTube, because YouTube does not require 120 Hertz. So you can do that too. Pretty cool in my opinion. I'll just clear everything. And yeah, regarding one more thing about the battery, uh, the idle drain for me was very high. I, it was, I believe six or 7% overnight. I thought it was regarding any app that I downloaded. I had downloaded OLX, maybe because of that, but I uninstalled OLX and still saw that the battery drain was very high, six to 7%. So I don't know what's, what's the issue here. Uh, I specifically asked in the group why my battery drain, idle drain was high, but the people there said the drain was fine for them. 0.5% overnight. I don't know what gives. I believe they aren't using their phone as much. I also don't use my phone that much because this is my secondary device just for gaming or media. But there's that. I got 67% drain overnight. You might use the Eno kernel and see if your battery life improves. Uh, in my experience, Eno kernel improves your battery life. So there's that. Anyways, this was Bliss ROM on the Mi 11X, also known as the Poco F3 or the Redmi K40. So that's the video right there. If you like this video, hit that like button. Comment for any queries regarding this ROM, regarding any other ROM that you want me to try. Share with your friends so that they also know about this particular ROM on the Mi 11X, Poco F3 or the Redmi K40. I'm just getting tired of all these three names. Anyways, since you're commenting and sharing, hit that red subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos that I post. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.